Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today is race three for the CCS at Rockingham. And starting on pole, we got German Chick 81. Uh, I know we talk about her every time she starts on pole last couple seasons. Winless, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe she won last season. But regardless, uh, I'm actually going to double check if she actually got any wins or not last year real quick. But regardless, last week was uh, the Jazz 500. That was won by Sean Ard, who is not the points leader. Points leader is surprisingly enough. Someone who hasn't won a race at all this season, Jeff Jordan in the 42. And I believe he is tied for that points lead with starting second uh, Bird. So at the moment, uh, one would assume that the current points leader is Bird. Uh, now, I would have to see where German Chikiti 1 is in points to see if that 10-point bonus would factor in or not on her being the points leader as of the start of this race. And, uh, nope, I am incorrect. German Chikiti 1 got one win last season. I don't recall where it was, but um, she did get a win last season. As for points, uh, she is actually, yes, uh, Drummer Chick 81 is the points leader with that poll. Nine points back, so she's got one point over Bird and Guff starting this race with that poll. So that's currently what it's looking like. So two of the Dodge Patrol Motorsports cars in the top ten in points at this point. The only other two is uh, Roberta Crown Jr. I got one land last season, season and Dark X Ranger starting fifth. This is looking pretty good. So those... Um, Dawn Patrol cars looking to be strong very early, as they mostly are every season, even back when uh, the operation was Cactus Motorsports, which uh, I guess you could say it was a switch or so, whatever. But uh, always dominant at the beginning of the season. We'll see if uh, that trend continues throughout the season, especially with being full season points now, and if Drummer Chick can maybe get redemption. But again, this is only race three. A lot can happen in 40 races, and... It's a rocking game. A lot can happen to this track. I decided to do 40 laps, so I'm, I'm kind of crunched for time, so didn't want to make it too long. And also, just in case it was wrecky, um, it is a little bit risky on the uh, difficulty, but it did pass my standards on the tests, so hopefully I don't get screwed over like I did a lot last season with the guesstimations on the test not being accurate to the race. So we'll see how that goes for sure. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, two Tom Patrol cars in the top five starting. Gonna got Lyle Toledo, Thermalix Gaming, defending champ. And uh, last week's first, Sean Ard, also just outside the top five and seventh starting. And we got two part time drivers in this race. Ian Styles, gonna be racing the 86, who's uh, starting, in, I believe, inside the top 10, uh, maybe just outside. And right next to him, the other part time driver, Cactus King, in his second start. Uh, for his part-time entry as well. And you got the other Dump Troll car in the 21 just behind that of uh, Merch Crown Jr. Again, one one last season. Has kept up a consistent one, at least one win a season streak ever since his beginning of his career. Would have been two, but unfortunately he didn't get two wins last season like a one. But nonetheless, still ha looking to have a stronger today. This Rockingham, a lot can happen. Hopefully not too much happens because I don't want it to be a wreck fest, but uh, we'll... See how double follow restarts come into play. If they do and become a problem, we'll disable them and whatnot. You know, the rules, the shebang, the stuff we usually do. Some of it's new, some of it's not. You know the stuffs. But regardless, we're going to get the command here in about five seconds, and we're going to get this thing started. Drivers, start your engine! Command's been given. And once again, it's just me in the booth for today. Uh, David Don did come in and say that his pick for the win is Dark X Rain. He did not get, or actually, he did get to qualify. He decided to go ahead and dip. So, uh, David Don's pick for you, Dark X Rain. Something I wanted to say before he had to go. So, go ahead and put that on the board. And this is a Rockingham night, by the way. Credit to Jerry Cook, Cook Sim Racing for making that. Usually, I don't credit track makers, but Jerry's a good. Good friend of mine, so I'm going to credit him for that. We're about to go green here. Drummer Chick 81 leads us to the green. Is a 20 already going high? So is Geff Jordan. Drummer Chick 81 taking the decisive lead after turn one. Three wide already with the 17 and the 67. Hopefully that does not end sour. 
As we see in Strike 4, it looks like they back out. Number 42, Geff Jordan. I probably could have did a game yellows for this. So I'm going to have to play it by, by eyeball. Kind of make sure nobody's falling back too much at this point. Kind of make sure this field does not die. So um, take that term as you will. Don't take it too seriously, of course. Daniel Paul's Jr., number two, currently right there. Monster Energy is return track house racing with their campaign of whatever that is. I don't even know. I don't recommend it, but it's a car they run, so uh, that's that. So far, everyone's still in the race. Last running car, Gar Stalemaner in the 26. But Mimi only got three wide with uh, the nine and the. And it looks like that's going to be a yellow. It's the 82. I wish I would have turned on game yellows because this is going to make this hard. So. Big risk with the leaders, too. So. That is uh, something I probably should have kept in mind. But we're going to race to the yellow here. 81 of German Chicks is going to hold the lead. We're going to see what happened, caused that wreck. A little bit once they get it all done. Looks like uh, I'm noticing the 28 of Vince Freeze may have gotten involved in that somehow, somewhere. But field bunches up pretty good. And Vince Freeze uh, didn't look to have any damage, so he may have just fallen back trying to avoid the wreck. Cody Forge may have also been involved, but 82 of Gaming Freak. Got two wins last year. Um, not looking too hot right now. Let's go to lap two. So, oh, this was on lap two. Oh, right in front of the 77 to Joy Paints. Big block there. But yeah, it's going to be hard for me to pick out these wrecks, especially with this current system I have of manual yellows. Oh, it looks like it happened in front of this. Uh, Zion got turned by uh, somebody. Looked like it was a bad wreck. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, Barney Thresher got into... Frank Chilton, and eh. 97. Oh, it looks like it's got worse from here. And Frank Chilton had nowhere to go. Because they're three wide at this track, I don't know why. Three wide for way back in the pack, but four. Trying to slow up, had, didn't have much time. It's into the 60 and the 59, 82, 77, 28 involved, and 82, unfortunately. Uh, I believe he flipped, 82 did, on the baking. Uh, I won't go on here too long because I do know cautions don't last so long at this track, but yep. Just nowhere to go. That little bump from the 28 was enough to go upside down. Was not able to get back going on the right side as Cody Forge. Give him a love tap there, but they're still in it. Not to win it though, unfortunately. A lot of damage to those cars. It looks like the 82 is still running. They just called it a tow truck, so. Um, since they were in the accident. Um, I'm not going to give him a, well, I'm limbo on if we should give him a green, uh, lucky dog or not. I'm going to go green this time because I don't want to, let's see, 82 halting damage bearer. Let's get that car fixed up before we put it on the track if we can. We'll let this caution run all the way if we, if we have to. But yeah, let's take a look at some of these car damage cars in the back. That was on lap two, coming to three. It was lap three and the leaders got to it. But again, A2 can still try to keep this thing rolling. Uh, German Chick, uh, they may have some engine damage. It's known as a little bit of hood damage. There was 60, quite a bit of damage. Despite the hits that 97 took, I think it's mostly just cosmetic. I don't expect it to be too far off pace after that. The 26, I may have gotten a few beats and bangs. Hard to tell. Oh, wrong car. He's actually up in 12th. Not doing too bad. Uh, Vince Freeze, again, I don't think he got any damage from that. Uh, and Frank Chilton actually got pretty bad damage there. I don't know if it... it compositely, it doesn't look too bad, except for the front end. Probably a little bit on the side when he came up the track. If we get to see this right side here, yeah, it looks like it's pretty damaged. So, don't know if that's going to be a concern. And then the 59, I think the highest running car coming out of this, surprisingly enough, I think he got the worst of it. He was... He was rammed in the wall, so he had a good run at Pocono, and is isn't really having a good run here. When we ran this in the playoffs, uh, the cars are running back here, ran back here in the playoffs, so unfortunately their luck is not going to be returning <laughs> at this track as, as they would have wished. 
I believe the 82 has gotten their car repaired to what they would have liked, so I believe the, uh, it, one would assume that we're going green this time or next time. I don't want to rush things, this is a shorter type track. Alright, double fall start. This will be, uh, first attempt. Hopefully it's not a bad attempt. will be, uh, if the 50 gets a, uh, issue, I'm going to clear it. Or actually, if he gets a start violation, I'm going to have to give him a black. Uh, remember car length, and if it becomes an issue, we won't use double fall starts anymore. Hey, yep, he's good. Car length in between at the line is the rule. He was not in between a car length, therefore he's good. And also, uh, you know, they made it two laps that time. I think we'll keep doing double file restarts at this point, but the 50 able to come out of the lead with that. And we'll watch this backpack closely. Make sure nothing in the back happens. I know some of these cars are going to be off pace from damage. Hopefully not too bad. I know that 59 definitely got the worst of it, but uh, running okay surprisingly. So we'll see if that holds true. I'll just have to keep an extra eye out since I forgot to turn on game yellows. And how to do them manually, but again, 50 of a uh, bird, one of the best in the business, I would say. Came back to Toyota with Wick Rear Racing, and is currently leading right now. Second in standings coming into this race with no gap. Third in standings after the pull from Germanchik, and already reeling that back in a little bit. Fortunately, he will have to do a little bit more and get a little bit more gap, I think, to get points on that 81, unless he wins the race, which you get eight points over second, so it's interesting. And I think the 60 is safe from being uh, removed from the race. I believe the 82 is as well. They are on pace enough. 82, despite all that damage, still running all right. In fact, uh, they did get the free pass, so I'm going to give them that lap. Because they are, they were the free pass cart the yellow, so I'm just going to go ahead and give that back to them. Hopefully we're going to the end from here, that'd be sweet, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. The bird, uh, last, um, in his rookie year, 2022, I believe. Yep, that would be correct. He started pole. Or no, he didn't start pole, but him and uh, his team at the time, Ronnie Racing, Ran that race. He won that race. I believe it was race three of 2022. And already leading right now in lap, uh, race three of 2024. We're going to win that too. And uh, also keep up a, a consistency of winning in every CCS season. I don't, in fact, I think he won his, he's won in his uh, NC0 season as well. So keeping up a consistency, consistency rate of winning at least a race in every season he's ran in, in either division. Which is pretty impressive if you ask me. But uh, I think they're train racing at this point. Just trying to get it to the end at this point. Like I said, not a very long race. Only 40 laps at this track. Just to get it over with for the most part. But German Chick 81 is still running second. <laughs> Unfortunately, that, that lead is so close. Race isn't over yet, though. Then Lyle Salido in the 53. New team, Backstretch Garage Racing Team. They're running third right now. Last week's winner, Sean Ard. This year's 2024 Jazz 500 champion. Came back with SB1. Got Uno as a sponsor now, running in fourth. And then fifth place is the number five of Sandy Messi. Had a uh, fairly okay uh, uh, season in his one season in Smoss. Moved up to Cup, and uh, fair and all right so far. We're talking about that 21 car started just outside the top 10. He's already inside the top 10. Uh, he'd never count out Roberto Crown Jr. He's very good, clean driver. Just like Bird, he's been able to get a win in every season he's ran class act in that 21 car in H 17 more of the same uh, I believe they've done the same I've, they've won in every season they've ran one last year at Old Spice they had a really consistent season last season it was top 10 in standings all the way through unfortunately playoffs didn't work out that's why we're not using that system anymore I mean, drivers don't get screwed over and um, still holding on strong yeah 24 Dark Apes Rain he's an 8th Started fifth, lost a few spots. He's that flagship owner for that team. 
In fact, the past two races, I think, or actually, no, the past, uh, last, last race at, uh, Daytona, I think, um, all, through all but one, uh, Dom Patrol car finished inside the top ten. Right now, as it runs, all four Dom Patrol cars inside the top ten, with Gift Jordan rounded out, who was, who came into this race points later, so, impressive run by Dom Patrol th uh, this early on in the season. And how well they were controlling the controlling the season so far, um, but nonetheless, very interesting. Uh, Bird currently your leader though, and he's currently stealing the show. I think he's pulling away a little bit from that 81 car at this point. As it is um, lap 21 now, as we're halfway halfway through this event. Now, with the old point system, Bird would have a humongous points lead if he was able to lead this through to the end. And by humongous, I would mean almost double what he had entering. But now with the new system, instead of getting your point for every lap led, you, if you lead at least a lap, you get two points. If you lead half the race, you get ten points, because that's most laps led. Um, unless someone else both leads half the race, and you both get uh, most laps led, and you both get ten points. So, yeah, that's the rule on that. But nonetheless, uh, interesting to see. Now, 60 car, could he go fourth? Second place uh, winner, or second place at Pocono, was a points leader after race one. He's about to go a lap down here in that 60 car. He's up to pace enough to stay on the racetrack. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if he affects these leaders any. As a, he's still able to pull away from this 81 just a little bit. Had that wreck early on. So far, keeping it green to the end, it is right now. Uh, everyone's still in the race, also. Uh, no one's done yet. And I think at this rate, the 60 and the 82 may be, uh, be fighting for position as if this race goes long enough. The 82, uh, uh, he's not up to pace, actually, as much as I thought he was, but still running. He's still got a few cars falling back a little bit. Um, Barney Thresher, I think this damage is starting to settle in, draft and whatnot, but... You know, some of these guys are able to keep up a little bit to an extent. Just get this race over with, go on to the next race. But uh, for the most part, still holding on a good race, trying to finish it, finish it well. Conserve what you have, finish it if you can. Really, all there is to it. Back German Chikiti one again, still in second. <sighs> There's just too much gap. You start to see these gaps in between. You know, third and fourth now, fifth and sixth, it's starting to grow. They're not catching the 50 at this point, but if they do, it'll be interesting. Again, uh, watching as the 60 car starts losing more and more time, if that's going to affect Bird and his lead. Start hearing that 60 car. Uh, could it go forth? Again, heavily damaged in that first accident. Um, wasn't even really his fault. Unfortunately, got got a bad end of it. Probably got more damage than the 82 did. Actually, definitely did, because he's the only car that fell out of the pack immediately. Because the 82 was able to keep up at least a few laps. As uh, the 50 may be sniffing the draft, the question is, will he make a move quick enough to get around him before it slows him up big time? Yep, it's going to slow him up just a little bit there. I don't know if he's going to be able to get underneath him here. It looks like it. Yeah, this slow up bird just a little bit. Let's see if it slows up the 81 or the 53 any. Looks like it gets him out of his race line just a little bit. But other than that, the fight's done. Doesn't hold up the 81 much, if at all. 53 trying to get underneath the 81 there. Thinks better of it, but regardless, I don't think he's gonna be much a factor at this point. 82, however, may end up being a factor. We're now at uh, 10 laps to go at this point, and Bird still leading, looking to do the grand. Slam. Well, I wouldn't say grand slam, but finish it off with a win. Spark uh, German Chikadi one getting the pole. I would actually argue German Chikadi one's actually holding up the field, hence why the we're not able to get up to the 50. Maybe that 50 is that good. I don't know. I'll ch double check his ratings, make sure he's legit. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta do that. But, 
I, I, no, I wouldn't argue it because uh, the gaps in between are still existent. And uh, not, not, the 53, I think he's getting held up by the 81 at this point. Question is, uh, they, they've been poking their nose underneath it, underneath this 81 car. Haven't quite committed. You're starting to see these guys aren't running the top all the way. I don't know if that's an AI thing or what, but regardless, this might be something to take note of as we get to the end of this race pretty quick here. I don't know if the ADC is going to be a factor or not. He's very far ahead. But Bird? I don't know. It's going to be close. But regardless, Bird is still <laughs> pulling it away right now. Showing these guys who's boss. And, uh... Apparently has almost a second lead. And it just grew there a bit. Yeah, it grew there a bit by about a tenth. Or not a tenth, but... I don't know, I don't know how they count, count that stuff. But regardless... Uh, lead did grow a little bit. Coming to five to go this time by. Bird. Wick Rare Racing. Looking to get them their first cup win in their first season. Race three. Like I said, Bird is the clutch. Not the crutch, but the clutch. He clutches when it's, not really when it's time, but when it, he gets that win, keeps it consistent, keeps it fresh, and he stays in the zone. All but last year, he's made it to the champ four round in every season. Now, Grant, we won't have that this season, but I, I fully expect him to be a contender there at the end of the season uh, when it's said and done. Based on how good he's been every year, every single season. So we're coming to three to go this time around. But he has never ceased to uh, be good in these cars. And yeah, granted, he's had some bad races. Everyone does have bad races every once in a while. But this guy in this 50 car, he's he's done it in Smos, won some races, done it in Cup, won some races. He's doing it here. Two laps to go here at Rockingham. I don't think he's going to catch that 82. The 82 is pretty good away, out of the way for uh, Bird right now. You see a little bit of a late run from the 90, or not the 190, but the 81 and the 53. He's still pulling away. A second lead now between second and third right now. And that gap's still big throughout the field. One lap to go for the 50 car. And Bird, he's going to keep that streak alive. Come through these next two corners. A streak of one win in every season. And he's going to let us know early this season that he's still got what it takes to win races. And Bird is going to win here at Rockingham. Well, that's a wrap for that. That is going to do it for here in CCS. Uh, fastest lap, <laughs> funny enough, by the part-time driver Ian Styles. We've been seeing the part-time drivers really, really show what they got this uh, early part of the season and what they can do for sure. Uh, and that's very interesting to see. But uh, uh, next race, we got Smos going to Pocono. We just went, came back from Pocono uh, in Cup from race one. And here in Cup, next race is going to be Hillside. Or, no? No, Old Spice. We're going to Old Spice. Okay, yeah, that's right. Hillside's after Old Spice. So, that'll be something to take note of. But regardless, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next race.